Good morning, boys and girls. This is the day that the Lord has made, and what are we going to do? We're going to rejoice and be happy in it. I do hope that you had a wonderful and a safe weekend. It was indeed a beautiful day yesterday and a beautiful day on Saturday. We've had wonderful uh, weather, and I hope you were able to get out and enjoy it. I know I did. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, I'm not sure parents and um, grandparents what happened with the Friday video. Um, I did do a Friday's video um, for some reason, technology difficulty or some for some reason was not able to get that uploaded. So I'll just briefly say something about the Friday's video. On that video, um, as I said, Moch Patel, um, Patel, Sorry, saying it too fast. Sorry, Mo, saying your name too fast. Um, celebrate a birthday on Saturday. So on the Friday's video, we did sing happy birthday to him. And so um, I don't know if I'll be able to upload that. You know, that happened uh, a couple weeks ago. And then Mondays came in on Wednesday, and it was just all crazy. But anyway, um, we're going to move forward. We only have two weeks of class of this remote learning video, learning like this. Um, because we are in the last month and um, almost um, approaching the end of, of school for this year. So um, I do want to take time right now and sing happy birthday to Moch. Um, I do hope that um, in Texan, uh, I hope that um, you did have a great day and a great birthday. Um, so boys and girls, as I said, good morning to you. Um, and I love you boys and girls and I miss you so much. Um, let's just stand and sing happy birthday to Moch. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Moch on Saturday. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you on your birthday. And I hope you have many, many more. We do. Uh, as I said, I hope that you had a wonderful birthday. Also, as I, when I looked at the Thursday's video, I have had a lot of laughter, boys and girls, over the weekend. I'm going to tell you, I miss you all so much being physically in the classroom because I had that picture of Jonah when I sung my song, a song, our song, uh, that I've been trying to, um, we've been trying to learn and uh, sing through as we talked about Jonah for the past two weeks. I had that picture upside down, upside down. Let me slow it down. And I do believe, boys and girls, that Jonah felt like he was upside down in the belly of the whale, um, in the belly of the big fish, but I needed to have that picture holding it the right way. Um, and that's where I miss you boys and girls because we would have got laughter out of that in the classroom, but you would have said, Miss Bias, turn the picture around. You have it what? Upside down. Um, and I do appreciate, I think I thought of, of uh, Briley, uh, how God has used her so much. She would always come to my desk when I would make mistakes and do things that were really silly. And she would say, Miss Bias, we all make mistakes. So um, I miss that um, as well. But anyway, um, on Friday, I did um, end talking about adjectives, um, and I did end um, uh, just going over um, the sheets um, review with division. I did do um, different things in, in math, and also um, I ended our Bible lesson about Jonah. This week, we're going to talk about David, but before I get started, I'm going to ask you to stand, boys and girls, and we will do the American flag pledge today and have our prayer time. Okay, stand up straight and tall, get your wiggles out. You're probably still sleepy. I know because of such a wonderful uh, weekend, uh, it was hard to get going today. Mondays are always hard. But anyway, we thank God that we can still have school in the midst of this um, um, season of life that we're having. We just thank God that we can even have school this way. Uh, we praise him. Okay, stand up straight and tall. Put your right hand over your heart. All together, attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag 
of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, stand up straight and tall. Stretch, do whatever you need to do, run in place. Good job. Um, and let's, um, let's sing the Bible uh, song. All together, one, two, three. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, Bible. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Uh, as I said, as we talked about adjectives uh, for um, all last week, we said that the word of God is a beautiful book and an awesome book, what, boys and girls, to read. Uh, it is our guide to life. Salvation comes through that book, hope. We talk about Jesus. And Jesus, boys and girls, really is in, in every, all through uh, the whole book of the Bible. Uh, you can find different verses in the Old Testament that uh, testify of Jesus and who he is and, and just the great God um, he is and, and that he's coming. Um, uh, uh, talks about prophesying about him coming to earth and and him dying for our sins and salvation will come um it's just a wonderful book to read um today i want us to look at um we're going to talk about david this week uh we will do review bible lessons one of the favorite bible lessons that um uh, was in the series was about david and um as i thought about david um i thought about the special plans and purposes that God has um, for your life. Um, uh, you know, we sing that song, I'm special to Jesus and there is no one else like me. And so I, I just thought of the plans and the purposes. And I thought of David, you know, um, in his younger days, God already had a plan for David. David was a shepherd boy. We'll say more about David tomorrow, uh, the story of David. But we can see him here. We can, we can see him here in this picture tending to the sheep. Um, but David loved God. He had a deep love for God. And God used different circumstances and different situations to prepare him to become king. And that's all I'm going to say about David today. He did become king. He was a leader. And boys and girls, you don't know what God has planned for you. Uh, he has a special plan. He has a special purpose. And um it, it just it, it 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 I'm just elated at how even in my life the plans and the purposes that he had that I I would have never dreamed of. I think about Doctor Doctor David Jeremiah. I listen to him a lot, and I've been listening to him um, his messages and um, since 1981. And he brought out this week, uh, and I'll say this briefly that. Um, he wanted to be a radio disc jockey. You know, that's all he wanted. And he and he, he, he didn't want God to really um, call him to the ministry. And he says, and you know what? God always enlarges your territory. He might not make you famous that way where you're being known all over the world. But I do know that there are people all over the world that prays for me all the time. I have missionary friends that are praying for me all the time that kept up with me doing my husband's sickness all the time. So he does enlarge. Uh, he might not have you uh, where you're in the newspaper, on the television, all, but he still enlarges the territory spiritually. And so I thank him for that. And I have friends all over the world, Christian friends that are praying for me all the time. And so that's a blessing. But the, the, what he was trying to bring out, boys and girls, and what he brought out in that was that now, He's on, he's on over 3,000 radio stations, and, um, and, and he, he's been, um, God is allowing his ministry to be all over the world. Just one, All he wanted was just a little space as a radio disc jockey. And look how God has enlarged that by him being obedient and answering to the call uh, of God's, um, God's calling and will and purpose and plan for his life. But as I said, God had a wonderful plan for David. And we're going to talk about how God used David uh, 
in many, many ways. We're going to talk about some of the things that he went through before he became king. We're going to talk about his anointing. Um, God had him anointed. God already knew um, the plan and purpose. He wasn't trying to figure it out. He had already um, planned uh, his life. Just like he's planned your life and my life, he's had plans and purposes for our lives. And um, I was reading this weekend uh, how um, he had these plans long before the foundation of the world. He already knew that he was going to create us, knit us in our mother's womb, and that how he was going to use us. So I, I'm just grateful and thankful today for the Lord Jesus. As I said, Lord, uh, as I said, boys and girls, he does have a plan and a purpose. He wants to be your friend, but more than that, he wants to be your savior. Um, and he's praying for us all the time. So boys and girls, I want you to bow your heads and uh, we're going to have a word of prayer and we're going to move forward. I will say more about David tomorrow. Um, dear God, we love you, Jesus. We praise your holy name. We glorify you and we lift you up. I just thank you, Lord, for a wonderful, safe weekend. And I thank you for bringing us back um, to this time of uh, where we can have school and uh, can complete things to finish out the year. Um, Lord, it's a very difficult um, season in the lives of many all across the world. But you're still in control. And I, and I just praise you for that. I can even look back even through this difficult season, and see your hand and tell you thank you for keeping us. Thank you for providing for us. Uh, thank you for um, some people going through this different, some people in different nations and different countries, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, in different countries are going through this season, and they don't have what we have. They can't even go to a grocery store. They don't even have the funds to go to even buy limited things. And so, God, I, I just give you praise, and I give you thanks. For even during this season, I can see your hand. And thank you, Lord, that even now if someone would cry out to you for salvation. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy um, that you would save them. Um, Lord, I pray a special prayer today for Miss Judy and uh, Miss Wendy and Miss Groover, for those that work in the office and for all of our teachers, Lord. I'm so thankful for them. I'm so thankful for Miss Doyle and how you brought her on uh, after Miss Williams uh, left. And I still uh, pray for Miss Williams because I still feel like she's a part of us. And so, Lord, I do um, ask that you will be with our teachers. Lord, I lift them to you today. And I pray that you will continue to bless to encourage and to provide. I pray for our parents. I pray for our students as they complete um, assignments. And uh, we're near the end. Uh, we're almost at the finish line for this year. So, Lord, I, I just pray for your continual blessings. I do pray for our seniors. I thought of them a lot, Rachel, and all the other seniors. Um, be different from them this year. I don't think I've ever known it to be different uh, in my lifetime. And so... Um, I'm just asking that you would encourage our seniors, that you'll continue to um, instill in them and encourage them and, um, those, and let them know that even those plans and purposes that you have for them, um, the goals that you have, um, they will be fulfilled, even through this difficult season. So, Lord, I, I just praise you, and I pray your blessings on this day. I pray for your continued encouragement. And uh, I just, just thank you for how you're going to meet the needs of New Life Christian School Academies. You know what we need, Lord. You know what the staff needs. You know what our teachers need. And you know what our parents need. And continue to encourage our students uh, through this time, Lord. We love you, Jesus, all together, boys and girls. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Um, to, this week, I want to talk about adverbs. Uh, last week, I touched on and talked about adjectives, and we said that adjectives um, describe uh, nouns, um, beautiful, uh, the noun would be beach, beautiful beaches, pretty girls, um, and uh, we um, touched on um, adjectives, and we did a couple of worksheets um, on adjectives, and this week I want to talk about adverbs. And we know that adverbs um, describe the verb. Uh, boys and girls, if you would take out um, page 281, um, and if you don't, don't have it where you can take it out right now, uh, even after the video um, 
you will have time today to go through page 281. It says uh, there, um, an adverb is a word that describes a verb. An adverb, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. An adverb is a word that describes a verb. Uh, what I, uh, when I, the sentence there says, when I saw the spider on my foot, I yelled loudly. How, how did I yell? The question is asked, and what kind of sentence is that? Interrogative sentence, um, I yell what? Loudly. So it's asked in there that you would read the sentence in number one, and then write the verb and the adverb on the lines. Um, number two says um, to read, they have the verb um, underlined, and then they want you to write um and write the verb and the adverb on the lines. Um, they want you to um, to write those there for number one. But number two says to read the sentence and add your own adverb. And rem remember, uh, it says that many adverbs end in the suffix. Now, the suffix will come at the end of the word. And then the prefix is at the beginning of a word. Uh, we've had a lot with that during the year. Um, it says many adverbs um, many adverbs in in the suffix um, ly. We ate our lunch. Um, you can say uh, quickly for that one. Q U I C K L Y and so on. Um, number three says, How many ways can you speak? Those ways are adverbs. Um, it says, I speak politely, I, I speak quietly uh you can come up with um adverbs that would that would describe that verb speak um so um completion on page 281 um as we look at page um to um when that finish out our um our discussion today on adverbs remember the adverbs uh, describe a verb and adjectives don't get it confused adjectives describe what a noun beautiful what beaches pretty girls handsome boys and that's what I have I have pretty girls in my class and I have handsome boys and I thank God for that um, uh, brilliant students because you all are very very smart um, I want to talk a little bit today about fractions We've had some um, on fractions, and so um, we've talked about fractions just a little bit. We did a little with fractions um, every now and then on different worksheets, but I did want to um, say something this week or talk um, a little bit on fractions. Uh, on page two in your math book, I mean, well, your math sheets, I'm sorry, because our mind's in a book, and so I keep saying book. If you would turn to page 262. Or if I'm sorry, Miss Byers have to turn to page 262. If you would take out page 262. And if you would look at the top of page 262, you will see um some fractions there. And what they want you to do um is to color in um to show the fractions and then tell which ones are greater. This is the greater than. This is the last band, and this was equal. So you say, how would we, um, how would we do that? These are pie graphs. Let's just think of a, a pie with equal four parts. Okay, so if you are to color in three-fourths, if you were to eat or give away three-fourths of the pie, you would color in one, two, three. And you would leave this one. So that would be, you have one, two, three, four. Uh, so it would be three, fourths. Now they're asking, when you, if you color in the other one, the other pie graph there, you would have only one what? Section that you would color in. So it's one what? Fourth. So it's three fourths greater than or less than one-fourth. Three-fourths is greater than. So you would um, put this, this um, symbol. 
or that sign in the um in the box there. Going straight across, it says one fourth or one third. So you would color in only one side, and then you would color in um one third. It says it's one fourth greater than or less than. Why is it less than? Because you only have three sides in that pie. Even though uh, that the, the, the one you would color in looks bigger, it's still only three, uh, three equal sides in the pie. So you're only giving one third away. And uh, that's what they're asking you to do there um, with, the, uh, with the fractions. Um, I'm going to stop there today. And you can complete um, number two and number three on your own. We've had, um, we've had, we've, I did a lot with monies uh, and still um, with uh, the additions, you add is what you do. You add with these monies here, but you have to know the value of a $5 bill. You count by fives. Of a $1 bill, you count by ones. What about the coin the quarter? You um, it's worth what's the play um the coin value twenty five cents the dime ten cents the nickel, um, and then um. The penny you count by ones, uh. So um, you would write the um. You would write um the total of how much. Of how much um. It's telling you to add one, one five dollar bill, add three, and then add the uh, the twenty five cents, then add the the uh, dime. Um, it didn't say how many. It's only it didn't say for the nickel, and then um for the um, three pennies. So that so actually they didn't ask you to add the nickel in at all, um, and then you come up with the sum. Um, Write the number of bills and coins needed to make the amount. That's what they've already given you the amount. Uh, you need one $5 bill, three ones, one quarter, two dimes. You don't need any nickels there, and um, three pennies. So that's how you would arrive at the total, $8.48. Boys and girls, I love you. I'm going to stop there today. I did just want to mention... Um, about the letter that I asked you to write um, in phonics, um, you um, because of the um, pandemic and uh, because of the stay-at-home order, um, you can um, either mail this to me. I think I mentioned that, or you can um, put it in your classwork folder. And boys and girls, I need to collect those classwork folders. Parents, um, on by Friday, May eighth, or by Tuesday of next week. If you have any questions, Tuesday would be the thirteenth. Um, if you have any questions, uh, I think Tuesday actually would be the win uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry, but uh, if you have any questions, you can text me or call me. Love you. Have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>